for the annual Textile Bowl, a rivalry that dates back to 1899. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24 yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Around the 48 yard line. Personal foul. Face man. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And he's taken down at the 34. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Three down, three down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Let's go. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike 10. Let's go. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback to pick up some yards. Clemson is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it is good. Swanson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. 
NC State's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively. But when you got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cause. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups. And when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 42. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. From the 47-yard line, first down. Tackle at the 31. First down. yard line second down nice run up the middle it's the ninth play of the drive Got a man. He can't complete the play. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. They're going to try a long field goal here. North Carolina State is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks away. And it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. And this one's not enough at three. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He goes downtown. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Down at the 23 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Right on that, right on that. Two down, 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Zips it to the back. And they push him out at the eight yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the eight. Counter left. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. for the touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 69-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Clemson gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 19-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's out to the 30, and he is drilled at the 32. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and 10, ball on their own 32. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. from their own 30-yard line. It's third down. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Brown awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. Brown takes it to 25, gets to about the 37-yard line. Clemson's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, then it can allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. But right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. No gain. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Clemson is up a score. Tackle made at the 47-yard line.
to the back quickly off his hands incomplete terrific coverage and when you clog up passing lanes like that you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions almost got themselves a turnover too second down 10 to go ball on their own 47 here he goes gains his way to the 40 yard line He's under pressure. Throws and it's incomplete. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Lost the ball. Fumble. Picks up the loose ball. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, the Tigers with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here's the give. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. He'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. He's into the open field. Knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. It's second and five here. Ball on the 42. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. One-yard loss for the halfback. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 33-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And now he's got room to run. Slides down to the ground. Gets it out quickly. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 18-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 18. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And down he goes at the 19. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Oh my gosh, how did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. Yeah. 
Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And he's taken down at the 43. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Clemson holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Steps up. They bring the quarterback down. No gain on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Swanson is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Concepcion's having all kinds of troubles in this first half, and normally he's having a big game when you're almost at halftime, and he's almost non-existent in this offense. And, Kirk, you got to wonder whether he's 100% healthy or not. I, I, we'll have to take a look and see if EA can come up with an answer to that, but he just doesn't look like himself. I mean, you know, physically, mentally, something just doesn't seem right. And right now, this team's going to have to try to rely on some other players to be able to step up their game and, and see if they can get back and, and have a chance to win this game. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They make the stop at the 34. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. around the 33-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Deep to return the punt. Brown fields at the 29. He makes it to the 38-yard line. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Clemson is up four. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. some daylight brought down at the 42 yard line we've got a first and ten ball on the 42 yard line they go with a run and he brought down in the backfield where in the world was he going on that run well that's a good question I thought for a while he got his directions messed up Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. is up by four. Deep pass to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a seven-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says, finish, finish whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They gotta execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. He fights forward to about the 26. Waters only gets about a yard there on the draw. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 37 more. Let's go. Play fake and looking to run. Slides down. This is a good job of converting on third down with the running game. First down. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Quick strike to the back. No good. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Level at the 48 yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. 
It's first and 10. Ball on the 33. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. It's broken up. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. And here's another third down. Five wide. Tackle made at the five-yard line. one in touchdown and really a nice run there by that quarterback well great decision by the quarterback reading the defense and as soon as he saw the open field he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown and he adds the extra point a 10 play 66 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown brad i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive we played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. From his own goal line. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They bring him down in the backfield. From the 
from their own 27-yard line. Second down. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 38. Brown is back deep to return. And he has it on the corner. Brown fields it at the 22, brought down at the 36-yard line. He showed a good burst there. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Clemson holds a four-point lead. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Lost the ball. Fumble. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And a quick throw. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. chance he gets to about the five first and goal from the four looking for Pater throws quickly and it's almost intercepted him down at the four. This is a big play for the offense that can put them up by two scores. It's third down from the four. Clemson is up four. And down he goes at the two-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. run up the middle Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. they're about four yards away here on second down and they get nice yardage on that run that's a game of five on the play first down
He'll keep it on the ground again. He fights forward to about the 13. They line up at the 13. Second down. Makes it to the 21. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and 10. He's scrambling, and they make the stop at the 22. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 22. From their own 21 yard line. Third down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. at the 31, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. NC State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Tackle at the 48. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 48-yard line, first down. Clemson is up by four. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 29. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Throws out to the running back, no good. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That'll make it fourth and 10. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on their own 25. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They give to the tailback, and they'll bring him down behind the line. They'll work the right side. He fights forward to around midfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Team's got to give their kicker some time. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Clemson is up seven. Aaron and out long. Can't haul it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. Sets up a screen, incomplete. Concepcion, back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. from their own 36-yard line. Second down. Gives it right side. Tackle made around the 39-yard line.
gets to about the 41 yard line. It's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 2013 Clemson. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Brown, the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Clemson is up a score. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Good tackle there in space. a couple there pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call that brings up second and 13. from their own 35 yard line it's second down Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up third and ten. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Mike ten. Mike ten, Mike ten. Let's go. Mike three, ninety-five. Three, ninety-five. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled in the open field. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play and looking to him to get the first. From the 45-yard line, first down. Clemson is up by a touchdown. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Inside the 10, and they finally push him out at the 6. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tenth play of the drive. The short yardage defense here. Clemson. 
and he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Gives it left side. Makes it to the 31. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets to about the 34-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Down he goes at the 38-yard line. Gibson makes the second ball at the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Now he tries to buy some time. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they push him out around the 30-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here they come, and they make the stop around the 10-yard line. That's a game seven. That makes it they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Run play, and he'll lose yards. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he 
and he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Clemson up seven points. And he's taken down at the 47. First and ten. Ball on their own 47. Second and 14. Ball on the 43. Three down, three down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Let's go. Red 18. Red 18. And he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Just under two to go in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. NC State's going to take their first time out of the hat. Swanson to punt. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Concepcion is a guy that doesn't mind the fact that the pressure's on him right now. He kind of thrives on it. I think he's got so much confidence. It doesn't matter how many defenders that they might put up against him. He still thinks he can make the play. Whether he goes up and over them, or he can go around them, or run by them, he has that kind of confidence, and this quarterback's got to find a way to get him the football. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's sacked. And they get to him again. This guy's got experience. It'll take an awful lot to unsettle him. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Just over a minute left. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. 
The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Gets to about the 24-yard line. North Carolina State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. NC State's out of timeouts. He's taken down at the five-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27-20, Clemson. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Clemson came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Well, that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.